How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and today's video is a preliminary look at Print Byte. So Print Byte is produced by Muttley 3D in Britain I believe and it is a 3D printing surface and it was came to me highly recommended by James. So thank you very much to James for organizing this, this Print Byte sheet to be sent to me uh, from Muttley 3D and I've had it for a while, been too busy to test it out but now I'm finally giving it, uh, putting it through its paces. And yeah, this is a preliminary look at how I'm finding it. So first I tried it out on PLA. So what I've got here is uh, Cocoon Creates brand of PLA plastic. This is green. And I've been printing out these. So these are my little maker coins. I've been printing out heaps for Maker Faire. So I'm used to printing on surfaces like BuildTac. And with BuildTac, you, you have to be very careful not to push the nozzle into the bed or you damage it very quickly. So my first attempts were with the nozzle a little bit too far away from the bed which caused uh, a few early failures early on. But uh, it was very quick to resolve by just, just uh, scooching the nozzle a little bit closer to the bed. And once I worked out that you could actually have the nozzle pretty much right against that print surface for the first layer, then I started to get really good prints. So these have come off the, the print bite surface. Something that I'm really impressed with is the fact that you can print hot and then you let it cool down. And what happens is once the, this plate cools down, the parts self-release. So if you print it with stuff like BuildTech, as I said, you might be used to the fact that parts stick too well and you damage the surface. Whereas with this stuff, it actually, yeah, self-releases. As it cools down, the parts become free and you can literally just pull them off. You don't need to get a spatula and attack them, which is pretty cool. So yeah, PLA printing, pretty nice. Also, you'll notice I'm printing PLA with my Flexion extruder. I currently have it set to number one. I have it set to number one with the um, the feeder screw uh, tightened up a little bit for the tensioner screw. But yeah, it seems to work really well. Next, I tried ABS. This is Matter Hacker's grey or silver ABS. And I tried the infamous Make His Muse uh, Wolfenator 5000. <laughs> this is the result. So, okay, let, let me set the scene. Today is freezing. It's probably about... 10 degrees outside, so it's not much warmer in here. I've always said that a 3D printer that prints ABS needs to be an enclosed machine. So even though this bed's heated up to 100 degrees Celsius, it's not quite enough to stick it down to the bed. And I think with the Warpinator file, those thin leading edges are what effectively kills it. So if I try this again with a brim, I'd probably get a better result. Because you can see it's lifted very badly there. But yeah, I, I would would say that even with a, with a brim, stuff like this might be a struggle on this print surface. But to be fair, on any print surface in a printer that's fully fully open to the environment you know, on, a, on a day like this. So I'm about to start printing a Maker's Coin, Maker's Muse Coin, heating up to 230 degrees and the bed's at 100. Another good thing about this is it's so thin. It's adhesive back, but it's super thin, so it's uh, pretty as thick as a sheet of build tack. So it's not like um, the Print and Z... Uh, plates I've been using. This, I've been using this for a long time on the Cocoon Create and I'm really happy with it for PLA but it's just a bit too thick to warm up to a temperature that's good for anything beyond that. PETG it will do but it won't do ABS at all, no chance. So I'm going to see how this goes um, with a Maker's Muse coin and yeah give you my final verdict. Alright guys so I've got the Maker coin printing in the Matter Hackers silver grey uh, ABS and it's sticking down. So yeah I think it just comes down to that first layer surface area which makes all the difference. So if I was going to do the, uh, the Warpinator again I would put some brims on it. So maybe maybe four, four outlines to stick those uh, very thin walls down because yeah this is pretty challenging. The only printer I've ever gotten this to work on without brims was the Cubicon single, and that was because the Cubicon has a heated chamber, and that's what you really need, ideally, to print ABS. But yeah, it printed the PLA beautifully. I love the uh, the finish that you get, the really smooth finish, and it's currently printing the ABS Maker Coin with no issues. So thanks for watching, guys. You can grab a Print Bite print surface from Muttley 3D. They are 15 pounds plus shipping, which is pretty okay considering they'll last a very very long time. And big thanks to uh, the guys at Muttley 3D for sending it through. Sorry for taking so long to review it, but it is a very big channel with many products to review. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future 3D printing reviews, tips, tricks here on Makers Muse. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Catch you later.